الولد اختفى من يا معلم الولد وين؟ حد يطمني يا معلم في كف يا عالم في كف في كف طلب احنا ناس غلابه اختفوا والاولاد ماتوا بدون ما ياكلوا يسلم علي الله الاولاد ماتوا بدون ما ياكلوا A Palestinian mother mourning the death of a four-year-old killed in Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. Large areas of Gaza flattened, homes reduced to rubble. The vicious cycle, air hits followed by bodies being pulled out from under the debris. The worst hit are innocent children. A father hugging his dead child calling out to doctors pleading with them to breathe life into him. newborns being pulled out of debris amidst the devastation thursday afternoon a residential area in gaza bombed a father running towards the hospital cradling his injured child this is the story of hundreds of families in gaza a mother mourning her child her question to israel why kill my sons they weren't associated with hamas gaza's al rimal city once a bustling town now a pile of dust 60 year old riyad shaban had a house in this building all that's left in this pile of rubble he says that the residents were ordered to immediately vacate the building at 2 a.m. on Tuesday. And on returning, destruction is all they found. Heeding Israel's warning and left with no option, people are heading to refugee camps. But even there, the situation isn't much different. The camps are as unsafe as their homes. The Jabalia refugee camp was bombed on day three of Israel's retaliation. Palestinian authorities say 155 innocents were killed in the attack. Israel claims it is only targeting terrorist hideouts. Then why are refugee camps in the line of fire? Many journalists like Mohammed Shub and Sayyid al tawil have also been killed. So far, the toll stands at six. The horrors of Gaza don't end there. Palestinian authorities allege that Israel is using banned white phosphorus bombs. They burn through the flesh, even melting down bones. 22,639 residential areas bombed, 10 hospitals and 48 schools destroyed. The Gaza siege is nearly complete. This even before Israel boots hit the ground. No power, water, food or medicine supplies. Gaza's only power plant shut down. And it's just day five of the Israel-Gaza war. With Saurabh Shukla, Bureau Report, NDTV.